Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to come to you from my kitchen today to share with you one of our premium products that is pretty spectacular and is used quite often in my house to bring meals to the table. Um, and so it is called the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker is, um, is used in the microwave. It's the microwave pressure cooker, kind of crazy. Um, a lot of people have memories of the pressure cooker of old and it's the, the silver thing you put on the stove and the top would blow off and you know rice would end up all over the ceiling. I think that's how they came up with popcorn ceilings is because too much rice got on the ceiling. They're like, oh, what a good look. But anyway, um, so the Tupperware pressure cooker, this is the Tupperware pressure cooker right here. Um, and this is a great size where it can bring um, a meal to your family of four, six, depending on what you're cooking. Today, I am doing a whole chicken. Um, previous to Tupperware, I never cooked an entire chicken. I never bought one. Like, I would buy a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, but that was about it. All right, so what's so great about the pressure cooker? Well, this bottom is a composite of plastic and glass and both of those work together to bring the strength to this this bottom part so that um, the pressure can build up to nine pounds of pressure um, during the cooking process and it's not going to blow up so i have used this so many times i've used this for years now i've been selling tupperware for two and a half years um, i got this this was one of the first things that i got as a consultant and i have used it probably 50 plus 50 plus times at least um maybe no let's maybe do that because i usually use it at least once a week <laughs> so yeah over a hundred times um this is the top there's a lot of safety features built into the top first you have the silicone um this um seal so that it prevent it, it creates a nice tight seal then you have these two black circles here this one over here um has a little yellow duty right there <laughs> yellow little yellow bobber and the cool thing is is this is your visual so you know when it comes out of the microwave how to when to open it because right now i'm pushing it up but now it's down and so when it's down that tells you that it's time to open it this other one you can see i'm pushing it up from the bottom when you bring it out of the microwave um the the pressure is is coming out of this and so you'll see this will be open like a little bird's um chirpy chirp and it'll be the pressure will be releasing until it's at a point where it's safe to be opened. Um, you also have this little lock mechanism and there's a hole in there and then there's a little silicone circle right there that seals that. So for whatever reason you gotta open it immediately, you open this and the pressure will be um, released through that little hole right there. Um, so a lot of different features. When you put it on, you have an arrow right there. That arrow lines up to an arrow that's right here. Um, you put it on and you turn it so that your handle on the top and the handle on the bottom are lined up. And then you put it in the microwave and you can cook it for as, as um, long as 30 minutes um, at a time. So if you need to cook something longer, sometimes I've done to make barbecue, I've taken a, a pork butt. And, and I'll have to go a little bit more than um, a little bit more than the 30 minutes. I'll do 30 minutes. I let it depressurize and then I put it back in for some more time. So it just really depends. That's the only thing I think I've ever had to put in for more time. Everything else is pretty much done between 15 and 30 minutes. Uh, but the cool thing is, is you can do in 30 minutes with this what it would take you eight hours in a slow cooker. Um, and because the pressure is what's cooking everything, it is infusing all of the flavors throughout your meal. So it's, it's just divine. Um, you can do desserts in this. You can do meals. I put raw pasta, raw chicken, tomatoes, um, uh, chicken broth, seasoning, stuff like that. And I'll do like a chicken bruschetta and everything goes in raw. Um, I do sausage balls wrapped in cabbage. And it's raw rice with the with the um, with the hamburger, not sausage roll, um, cabbage rolls. Um, hamburger, raw rice, tomato sauce wrapped. You know, make them ball them up in um, in cabbage and and cook it in the in the microwave. We love that meal. All right, so I'm also going to use the poultry shears. These are a relatively new item. I've already used them to cut all the extra um, fat and stuff around the openings. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use this to um, separate the skin from the breast so that I can put some seasoning down in it. Now, there is not a lot, let me make sure you guys can see me again. There is not a lot of, um, of uh, ingredients that I'm gonna be using in this. I'm gonna take two tablespoons of, um, of seasoning, and you can do whatever seasoning you want. I, um, I always do, um, my latest favorite is this Goya, um, and I'll show you the um, 
the wrapper. I just tape it onto my spice maker. It's Goya Adobe and um, Adobo, Ad Adobo, not Adobe. I think Adobe is a house in Spanish. Um, but so you do two tablespoons. And so I'll pull up the skin and then I put it in there and then I put my hand in there and I rub it all in there so that it gets in. Um, and then I take another tablespoon and I just kind of rub it all over everything else. Now, like I said, the flavor is going to be infused. Um, and so, you know, it's not such a huge, huge deal, but it just makes me feel good. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here and do that. You guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing the babies behind. That's right. All right. So I've got that. Let me rinse my hands. Um, then I am going to, um, I'm going to do two tablespoons of, um, this is called butter. And you're, you could rub it all over it, but it, the, the flavor is infused. This is a citrus peeler, guys. Citrus peelers, citrus peelers have so many uses. Um, and one being getting butter off of your, um, off of your, uh, this is a tablespoon. <laughs> Sometimes my words are, they don't come easily to me. Okay, so, so we got the butter. I'm just kind of spread that a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, put those in the sink. And then I'm going to do a quarter of a cup of chicken broth. All right, that's it. I'm going to pop this bad boy in the oven, in the oven, in the microwave oven, that's right, um, for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to come out, and I'm going to take a picture of it, actually, I might go live again, yeah, I don't know, and you are going to see what wonderfulness comes of this, so 30 minutes in the microwave on high. All right, guys, so this has been in the microwave for 30 minutes, and um, and the, the little indicator is now sitting down and flush. It's not raised, so that tells me that it's ready to be opened. If you guys, if we had smell-o-vision right now, like at like 15 minutes into the cooking process, you would have been like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it smells so good. So let's go ahead and open it up. So I'm going to lift this little, this little uh, the lock piece, and I'm going to turn... And I'm going to match the line, the arrows up, and I'm going to turn, I'm going to open it away from me because there's going to be a lot of steam that comes up. And as much as I could probably use a facial, I don't want one right now. So I'm going to open it up and look at that, guys. Look at all the juices. Look at that. Um, and the butter and oh, yeah. So what am I going to do with this? All right. Well, I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to take all the skin off. I'm going to throw it away, what I don't eat. Haha. <laughs> and, um... I'm going to take all the meat and I'm going to do two things with it. I'm going to make a chicken orzo soup, which the kids love, and I'll be utilizing the pressure cooker to do that. Um, use celery and carrots and all that stuff, and I'll be um, making that, and I'll be putting the, the raw orzo in it, and it'll make it. It's just like a chicken noodle soup. Um, kids love that. And then the other half of the chicken, I'll be making um, egg salad, so um, egg chicken salad. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Have a good one.